Hi everyone, my name is Michael Sherry and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. We're an RV dealer located in Pickwell, Ohio, but we sell nationwide. We have customers that come from all over the nation to do business with us, many of them passing many dealers who sell the same products. And the reason being is we offer a great selection right here in stock, ready to go, ready to be used. And also we offer probably on nearly every camper in stock the best price in the United States. Now price in the RV industry is, is different than just the stated listed price. Uh, a lot of dealers, what they've done out there in order to have a really low listed price is they add hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars in fees on top of that listed price. And oftentimes they don't tell you about those fees until you're like they're picking up your RV. So if you're out shopping around, just make sure you ask like what are all your fees and what's my out the door price. So here Paul Sherry is the price we list is the price you pay uh, plus your sales tax and that's depending on where you title your camp or where you live and a documentation fee which is only $283.50. And that's it. So that's a little bit about who we are. We have a, a good reputation I would say in my opinion but to check it out for yourself go to Google type in Paul Sherry RVs and look over to the right there you'll see our ratings from customers uh, all around who have done business with us. All right today I'm doing a video on a new floor plan it's a Forest River Grey Wolf toy hauler which Forest River Grey Wolf toy haulers have changed the half ton towable toy hauler market uh, and we at Paul Sherry's we're probably one of the largest Grey Wolf dealers out there uh, and this floor plan is a 26 foot travel trailer toy hauler. Uh, now they already have a 26 footer, but this one's a little different. The garage is bigger. It has uh, the outside mini or the outside deluxe camp kitchen standard. And I'm standing in the garage right now. So we're going to start inside today because it's a little windy outside. And then we're going to jump to the outside and uh, bear with the wind noise. But uh, I do want you to see the outside as well. So let's get to it. All right. So this is a. Uh, a little bit different garage. The back end is your typical Grey Wolf RR garage. We have the two couches. I have the one to the left folded up, as you can see. Comes with the table that folds up, and then your couch off to the right. Now that entire design comes with two couches and a table, or it can fold down for one gigantic bed. And then of course you have your ramp out here. Uh, comes standard with the ramp door patio. I just have the two walls up. You can put the, the last piece in there, but I just want to show you like that. This particular one does come with the screen room. Now, now that is an option. That's not a standard feature on these Grey Wolves. The screen room, which I have them both rolled up, uh, is an option. This one does have it. Uh, of course, there's plenty of tie downs in the floor. Uh, there's a couple underneath the couch there as well that the camera's not picking up. But what's different about this garage now is from basically the kitchen forward where you have all this extra space here at the, the foot of the kitchen which typically in the gray with toy haulers, you don't get this large of a garage. So a little bit bigger garage, I'd say by at least four foot longer. So you can possibly put, you know, two four wheelers in here, uh, quite a few motorcycles if you're looking to do that. So nice feature there. Also the kitchen here, uh, it has some upgrades. This is what I consider a 2020 and a half Forest River Grey Wolf. So this has all the upgrades that the 2021s will have that are coming out just at the turn of the uh, turn of the model or turn of the year. So once it comes 2020, then the 2021s will be coming out shortly after that. Uh, but this is what they'll look like. Benefit of the 2020 and a halves over the 2020 one is going to be priced. The 2020 and a half, like this one here, is going to be priced cheaper than the 2021. So a little bit of industry secret there for you. Uh, good cabinet work up here. You have your microwave. This is new for this year. This is a Furion 10.3 cubic foot refrigerator. This is a 12 volt only refrigerator. Uh, they've had these out for quite a few months now and we are really liking them working really nice that's going to work when you're pulling down the road because you always have 12 volt right coming from your your pull vehicle uh, here's your kitchen comes with the seamless countertops has the countertop on top of the sink or the sink cover this is new this year so we have the uh, the black stainless single basin sink and the blast black stainless faucet uh, next to that is your oven. This is a gas oven and stove top here. The stove is uh, three burners up top. Again, all gas. And then your ovens down here it does have your glass door in the oven. And then some good storage down here. We have a couple drawers here. Nice deep drawers. 
both sides. Okay, and then across from the kitchen, we have this giant bay window, which I really like windows. There's actually two of these on the same side here, on both sides of this door, uh, which, you know, lets you see what's out there. Hopefully you're at a beautiful campsite and can enjoy the view. 30 inch fireplace. I really wish I was plugged into electricity right now and fire that up. It's a little chilly in here, uh, but that's gonna be a space heater as well. And then above that, you have your Furion radio. This is built in. This is gonna play your music, right? So this is gonna play uh, whatever you're looking to listen to, uh, AM, FM, Bluetooth capable. Also has a HDMI port, USB port, aux port. Uh, this can about do it all. And then uh, right here is a mount for the television. So you don't need to buy a mount, it comes with a mount. You can just simply slide it on. And there's also a mount outside, same mount. So you can use the same television if you want. And then of course it's all pre-wired up here. This is your HDMI coming from the radio. Uh, and then it has the free antenna. So pick up those free TV channels right here built into the roof. It's an omni round antenna. So it's gonna just focus in on the signal. You don't need to direct it or anything like that. And then you have your power. All right, coming up through this door here, uh, I like this nice solid door to separate off more of the sleeping area uh, because it kind of helps with the fumes and stuff. But we walked through the bathroom here. Uh, so good cabinet work in here, a lot of spots uh, for your extra toiletries. Uh, even a couple more shelves down there. Uh, a lot of floor space in this bathroom. So definitely an area where you can get changed at at the end of the day or in, in the morning. Uh, hot and cold water right here. Uh, does have the medicine cabinet <laughs> little things like this but the medicine cabinet is on an angle same angle as the sink uh, which i like and that allows you to have some storage behind it uh, even more storage next to the shower and then the shower comes with this glass surround uh so no cheap curtain or anything like that it does have a skylight in the shower uh nice fiberglass surround there's probably a PVC actually. Uh, and then in the bathroom here has this uh, bathroom fan, which I call this the whole trailer fan because with these gaps above the doors, you can leave this fan on and this fan really moves a lot of air. You're gonna be able to move a lot of air in and out of this camper. So if you're on just a day where you really don't need the heat or the air conditioner, just want some fresh air, uh, by all means, kick that fan on. And then through that door that I just opened is your master bedroom. So this bedroom is gonna feature a queen bed. Uh, you can walk around this bed on all three sides if you look here. So. Plenty of room at the foot of the bed and plenty of room on both sides of the bed. Uh, both sides of the bed have USB charging stations so you can plug in your phones, uh, iPads, uh, readers, tablets, that sort of thing. Uh, LED lighting all throughout this. You can see two of the pancakes right there. Uh, nice big windows in the bedroom as well. So uh, that is the inside of this uh, new floor plan. They called it, I don't know if I told you, it's, they called it a 26 MBRR. 26 MBRR. Also new for the 2020 and a half is this here. Typically they've just put a bunch of switches on the wall. Now they're all neatly organized into this uh, really nice panel that is your monitor panel as well. And water pump, water heater control, light controls, and then the awning controls all right there. And what's cool, it's built in with a Camp Smart so you can actually download the app on your phone to do all this on your phone as well. All right, let's check out the outside. Again, it might be a little windy out here. Uh, this is a half ton towable toy hauler, weighs just under 5,800 pounds. Uh, the Gray Wolf sit a little bit lower to the ground than your typical travel trailer. So your approach when that ramp is down is gonna be a nice slight approach. So it's easy to pull your, your, your different types of toys, motorcycles or four wheelers up into the trailer, which a lot of customers really appreciate. Uh, comes prepped here. You see it has a, a big spotlight back there and prep for a backup camera. Uh, does have the power awning on it. This particular one we did equip with the power stabilizing jacks. Uh, just regular crank down stabilizing jacks are standard. And then it uh, does come with the leash latch for your pet. Uh, all Grey Wolves have the more ride two entry steps. Really makes a solid entry. Uh, here's our outside speakers I was telling you about and your outside television mount. Uh, this is something that none of the other non-slide Grey Wolves have. And sorry for that wind, it's going to be this Luck Mini Camp Kitchen. Comes with your refrigerator, ice maker, hot and cold water, two burner stove, and a wash basin.
Good storage comes with a spare tire. That's another option. The spare tire. Radius front end, power tongue jack. We fully prep our units and we don't charge for that. That's one of those fees a lot of dealers are charging for. Fully painted exterior. There's not decals. Or there's not a lot of decals or those swooshes and stripes. The reason they do that is because those tend to fall off after a couple years. Uh, this is a two axle trailer. Uh, for current pricing and information, that kind of stuff, I'll post links below. So make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to our channel. Let us know what you think.